Hey guys, uh, Thomas here. How are you guys doing? <laughs> um, uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go. To, uh, we're going to uh, uh, talk about my friend Barry. Um, who, uh, we're gonna do. Um, uh, we're gonna do a part one and part two, but it's gonna be two different stories. And um, what this um, this first one is about cooperation. Uh, the second one is another cooperation. The third one. Uh, it's going to be law enforcement related. <laughs> I'm, that's going to be saved for the third one, so you got to be, you're going to have to uh, see the series. So part one. Um, this takes place about uh, about 1983, I believe. And uh, my friend Barry, he uh, he, uh, he he's. He, he likes to do a lot of things. Uh, he should have been a mechanic, to tell you the truth. He would, um, he would fix things. And uh, at one time, um, uh, shortly before his death, he started um, refurbishing shotguns. And uh, he, it could have been a business for him because he, he took, he was very meticulous, and he was able to disassemble and reassemble uh, the shotgun with, with Perfect precision, and it worked. And uh, he was a firearms instructor also, and he was licensed, and uh, he had all these skills. Uh, we, before he passed away, we had talked about him uh, possibly opening up his own uh, shooting range because, uh, as an instructor, he should be able to instruct other people, um, law enforcement, uh, in the proper. Uh, use of firearms, and I thought that would probably be good business for him because he had uh, been a firearms instructor for over ten years. So he, so he knew about the range and he knew about his weapons. But we did talk about that, and he was supposed to be getting a certain number amount of money back from from the uh, state, and uh, he talked about it. But the thing about uh, my friend is that uh, he will talk about it, but the action is uh, a little bit lacking. And uh, some things I pressed him on it, but then I just got to the point where, you know, he's going to do what he's going to do. So, but this is uh, uh, about uh, 1983, and um, uh, he. Uh, he came over to, I told him I need to go get an oil change. Uh, I had, uh, driving my mother's car. I can't remember what vehicle it was, but, uh, he said, come on, man, I can do it. <laughs> I said, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can go ahead and, and, and fix it. And, uh, you know, I said, okay. So I told my mom and she was like, okay. You know, all we had to do is get a couple things and, you know, we can get it done. So uh, he came over. We had to go get some oil. So we got the oil. We got the oil filter. And and then um, we had to get some ramps, which he had. So uh, what we did was we got the equipment, got the stuff. And then uh, in the alleyway of, um, my, of my house... Uh, of the street that's around us, uh, he showed me uh, what I need to do in order to do a proper oil change. I had never done it before, and he, he showed me, oh, you got to do this, and you got to do that, you got to make sure that the pan is okay, and you know, he showed me how exactly how to do it, because he said he's done this a number of times, because he because uh, we didn't have a lot of money, <laughs> and fixing vehicles was, was, was very hard. Uh, wasn't cost effective <laughs> if you're doing minimum wage. So he was he, he so he was he was highly intelligent. So we went and found how to you know do the oil change, and he had to put the oil in and make sure that it cycled. And you know it was it was great, and um, turned out that. Boom, boom. <laughs> it was easy. And, and uh, so I said, I told him, thank you very much. You know, it was it was a gratis situation. Uh, this, this, the second 
things that he fixed for me <laughs> is that uh, I, I got a uh, I got a radio. Uh, wanted to get a new radio installed on uh, my mom's car. And I told him, about, you know, that I was going to get a car. He said, well, you know, uh, I can do it. I said, well, I don't want to put you out because I can just go, you know. He said, nah, 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 no problem, no problem. Let me go get my tools and, and, and I'll come over. I said, well, I really don't want you to do all that. He said, no, 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 no problem. I'll be over there and we, we can take care of it together. I said, okay, okay. All right. So he came over and he installed the whole thing. I didn't do anything at all. He said, oh, I got this. <laughs> I said, okay, you go ahead and do you. And he put the put the stereo in. He wired it to the speakers. I got had I had to get an upgraded speakers. And he did everything. I was like, thank you, brother. Thank you. Uh, it's it's kind of hard listening to just AM radio, and uh, because, because like I said, he uh, he had a boombox in his car. He had a nineteen. Yeah, 1995 Sentra, and he had a bass tube in there, and uh, he was able to, to hook it up, and uh, he knew his music, and, and he said, so this was this was just <laughs> nothing for him, so he was able to, to, to do it, and I, I, I much appreciated him for doing that for me, and and I just wanted to, you know, tell him to say thank you very much for what he did. And uh, to this day, I am appreciative to him to, to the service that he gave me uh, for that, those those little things. So, um, you know, it's it's um, what we do for each other in order to make uh, a friendship work. Um, you know, uh, it's giving of yourself. And uh, that that's really important for uh, any type of friendship to to last. Uh, you both have to have some give and take. So in, in any relationship, one person is going to be the receiver and one person is going to be the giver. It's vice versa. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed those those two stories. Um, the next story I'm going to say I'm just going to do. Uh, the law enforcement story, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy that also. It'll be coming up shortly. Okay. All right, guys. Have a great day. It's nice out here. Take care. Peace.